Hey guys, how's it going? This is Autobot JCB here coming to you with a brand new how to transform video. The for, Before we get going into this, the first thing I want to point out is that you guys will notice that I have a little bit of a different setup. That is because I went to my local do, uh, my local Dollar Tree and I picked up a little a uh, few materials in order to build my new, uh, for lack of a better word, studio setup. Here, what I'll do really quick is I'm going to pick up the camera and I'll pan back a little bit. As you guys can see here, it's actually something that's pretty simple. All I did was I went and got a couple of diorama boards right here, a little bit of glue, a little bit of duct tape, a couple of book lights, and I've got this really tall lamp that I had sitting in my base in my basement with a flexible head on it, and boom, we have a studio. I have to admit, um, it wasn't exactly my idea to set this up. I've actually had a lot of inspiration from a few other YouTubers that I watch or that I watch with uh, videos like this. So I wanted to try something different and I wanted to make my videos a little more creative. Um, I would love to get your guys' opinion on anything I can do to improve this setup. Uh, maybe add some more details to it, add a couple little uh, lights, lights, uh, lights and sounds or whistles, whatever. But anyway, today we're going to be continuing on with Transformers Revenge of the Fallen because today I'm going to be showing you how to transform the 2009 Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Mixmaster and Deluxe Class Rampage. Now, these guys are two of the four Constructicons, uh, to actually take that back, two of uh, two of the five Constructicons that were released for the tra for the Revenge of the Fallen toy line. The fifth, uh, the the Constructicons, as you guys know in the movie, were able to combine into the Mighty Devastator. Um, unfortunately, these versions cannot do that, which is the biggest reason why I started collecting them. Um, I was only able, able to get four of the five. The fifth one is actually a red version of Rampage, which frankly, I think this one should have been called Skipjack, considering the fact that Rampage did make an appearance in the movie and Skipjack was was actually one of the legs of Devastator while Rampage was off in the village getting his butt handed to him by Bumblebee. <laughs> but anyway, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over a couple of details these guys have in their vehicle modes and then we'll get on to transformation and then I will show you their secondary modes which consist of Mixmaster's plat um, Ion Cannon mode and uh, Rampage's... Um, Springer mode, we'll say. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and move Rampage off to the side, and we're going to bring Mixmaster in for a close-up. Now, as you guys can see here, obviously Mixmaster's vehicle mode is that of a huge cement truck. He's got the Decepticon symbol right there on the hood of his truck. He's got the huge Decepticon symbol right there on the left and the right of his big cement mixer. One thing I always thought was cool is that in the movie, the, the hood ornament on the uh, actual truck itself was kind of a bulldog mixed with a with a Decepticon symbol for a head. I really wish they could have incorporated that detail into here. It would have been really cool to see, but I guess you can't really do everything, especially when you're getting down to this size of a stu of um, details, stuff like that. But either way, this is a great design. I absolutely love this. And I especially love that they made it uh, where you could actually switch him into his cannon mode. Coming over here, you'll see that he's got these these very well detailed smokestacks on the side. He's even got the gas tank right here with the steps built onto him. He's even got some tread built into the tires, and you even see the de the amount of detailing on the bolt pattern and everything. Just absolutely over the top of uh, detail. You turn him around here, you'll see that uh, right here you have the uh, the um, I actually don't know what this part's called. I apologize, but uh, this is where you like you would dump the cement into the mixer, and then the mixer would spin around. Uh, that way it doesn't, uh, it doesn't settle in the, te in the, in the drum and dry out and get hard. Cause then it's impossible to get out. You'll notice right here, he actually has the little cement chute right here. And I especially love that they added the detail where this can flip open and it doesn't really go very, go very much, uh, in regards to like, uh, moving around, but it's still a neat detail that they added that and then just fold right back up just like that. And you can either have it sitting like this or you can have it sitting off to the side just like that. He's got this huge lat this little ladder uh, built onto him right here as well. That way you can get up here with a guard with a 
pre high pressure hose and clean out the drum or whatever. Just the attention to detail on these guys is great. And I especially love that they even added the red and white striping for like the caution, for like caution, be careful around here, stuff like that. Overall, a great design. And then I also, and then also you guys will notice that they even added the, uh, uh, I'm not sure what these things are called. They're like the feet that like on a crane they would extend and they would give it more stability uh, for when it's kind of lopsided so it doesn't tip over. But anyway, there's Mixmaster. All right, and we'll go ahead and bring in Rampage. Now, like I said, I personally think that this yellow version should have been called Skipjack because we know in the movie Skipjack is red and or Skipjack is yellow and Rampage is red, but it is what it is. Oh, well. Uh, I have to admit, I absolutely love the uh, the this huge uh, sc this huge uh, blade that they put on him since he is a bulldozer. The amount of detail that they put on the on the uh, on the treads right here, the amount of detail that they put on the wheels right in here, absolutely great. You got the Decepticon symbol right there on stamped on the back of him, including and it, you even have a see through cab window. And all of the Constructicons actually have these have these uh, see through windows. So you'll notice that right here, uh, Mixmasters is purple, Rampages is red, um, and then I think uh, Long Haul, which is the green dump truck, his is clear, and then Demolisher or Scavenger, whichever one you prefer, whichever name you prefer, I think his is red as well. But either way, these are absolutely great. I love that, uh, like right here, you have the hydraulics. Like these will actually, they don't really extend a whole lot, but they do actually. Um, kind of come up and down when you have him transformed and re uh, transformed and set up. You guys will notice that he's got the uh, detailing right here on the uh, right where the engine compartment would be. He's got the smoke, the exhaust smokestack right here, and a couple other details. They, uh, like I said, they did a great job with these. They did; they're very well done. And I especially like um, when a movie series or basically any toy for that matter can actually do a very good job at hiding the fact that it is a supposed to be a robot in disguise. But anyway, there's Rampage. All right, so now comes the fun part because now we're gonna get on to transformation. So once once again, I'm gonna move Rampage off to the side and we're gonna bring Mixmaster back in. Now for Mixmaster, uh, his transformation is actually pretty interesting. The first thing we're gonna actually do is uh, ordinarily we'd move this off the side. Obviously I already did it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and flip this back just like this. We're gonna make sure the ladder is off to the side because we need that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna come right here and we're gonna flip these pieces up just like this because these this is actually where his feet will actually is actually stored when he's transformed. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here and we're gonna grab the whole front end of the truck and we're just gonna pull it off of itself just like that. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down the smokestacks just like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here and we're gonna pull this all the way down and spin it around. And before we continue, we're gonna come right into here and flip up this little pin, this little pin because this will actually link right into this port right here on the cement chute. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab right here and right here and we're gonna pull them apart just like this. We're just gonna rip him right open and show you all his, all his beautiful guts. <laughs> all right. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here and we're gonna grab this whole section because we're gonna disconnect this and this will actually become the barrel for his for his ion cannon or plasma cannon, whatever you want. And it does actually shoot. Uh, typically what I do is I take the missile out and set it off to the side because I like, and then we'll use it later. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here and we're gonna flip this all the way up. And I went, push that a little farther, I, uh, too far, I apologize. There we go. There we go, we want that, we want this uh, we want this piece folded down. I'm so sorry. We want this piece folded down, and then this hole right here will actually hook right onto here. And we'll do that right there. And there we go. We have this right here will become the back of Mixmaster, and it is already set to go. All right. So the next thing we'll do is we'll come right here. Now, there are actually three pieces that are, um, that are fastened. There's a plate here, a plate here, and a plate here. We want all three stretched out as straight as we can get them because that'll give us as much room as possible to work with Mixmaster. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here and we're gonna split this apart just like this. But before we do that, we need to actually unpeg it from the base of the truck right here. And it's just held on by those two pegs in those ports right there. 
And then we'll fold that down, which will reveal Mixmaster's head. Hello. And we'll go ahead and come down here and split this apart just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come right here. We're going to flip these around because these will actually form part of Mixmaster's chest. We're just going to get these up out of our way just like that. And they just sit like that just in front of him. And then this is actually a little bit of an interesting thing because what we need to do now is in order to get his legs spun around, we need to bring them up, spin them around on this hinge right here, and then bring them back down so the wheels kind of go up behind the gas tank just like that. So we'll, uh, here, let me move that out of the way a little bit. We'll come up. Yeah, hang on. There we go. There's a little bit of a better angle. We'll come up just like this. Just like that, we'll spin this whole section around so that way this part spins as well. And then we'll bring it back down and let me get his, what is going on here? Oh, I was not up far enough. Okay, there we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this whole section and we're gonna bring it up and we're gonna snap it in and then we're gonna bring his legs down because I was actually, I actually had those penned in wrong. I am so sorry guys. There we go. We want him to look like this. So these are actually uh, these are actually his hips. I apologize. The next thing we'll do right here is we're going to flip this around. We're going to flip this around to the other side of his foot and then spin it around backwards and then flip out his toe. And then the piece that was actually connected inside the drum that held the drum in place is actually the lower section of his foot. So we'll come over here. We're going to flip this around, spin it around and bring that down and flip down his foot just like that. And there we already have Mixmaster's legs ready to go. So he's about halfway done. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna flip them over because we're gonna take where this seam is and we're gonna pull these plates apart. We're gonna fold them out because now what we're gonna do is we're going to, fill, we're going to form Mixmaster's arms. So what we're gonna do first is we got those plates pulled apart we're going to fold this plate down and fold it out. We're going to spin, uh, fold this out and then spin it around just like this and then fold it up behind his arm just like that. And that is not wanting to behave. There we go. Just like that. And then you can either have this plate turned or have it straight along his arm. I don't think it really matters. But when we, uh, after we do all that, we're going to take his fingers and we're going to flip them out because that will be, that will form Mixmaster's arm. I am actually going to leave the plate just like that. But anyway, so there we have one of Mixmaster's arms ready to go. And he's got his thumb right here and he's got his two clawed fingers right here. So we're going to come around the other side. Same thing. Pull these plates apart and flex them out just like this. And we will turn this plate so it swings. Uh, so this gap swings free of this uh, little arm, this little hinge right here. And then we'll go ahead and flip this around behind him, just like this. So it uh, sits up behind him just like that. Like I said, you can either move the plate down or move, or keep it just like that. This is how I typically do it. And then we'll let's bring his arm down a little bit. There we go. Now you can either leave the, you can either put the plates up on his shoulders or just kind of tuck them back behind his shoulders. I typically just leave them tucked behind. That way they're not uh, hanging over and they don't get hung up on anything. But then finally, just like with the other arm, we'll bring his fingers down and fold his uh, fold his thumb down. So there we have Mixmaster's uh, Mixmaster's arms ready to go. The next thing we'll do is we're going to take this plate right here. We're going to fold this up, and as we do, we fold this down, and we're going to click everything together, which will then form the bulk of Mixmaster's body, just like this. And then finally, what we'll do is we'll come back here. And this little piece that we folded out right here will fold right into that will uh, that pin right there will hook right into that hole right there, and this will form the rest of Mixmaster's back. And we'll pop that in just like that, and there we go. We have Constructicon Mixmaster. Now, like I said in the movie, Mixmaster uh, did actually form the head of Devastator. Unfortunately, this version does not do that. I really wish they had created a set that could do that. But 
Um, for those of you who collected Devastator when it came out in 2009, you know what we got. Uh, I'm actually going to be showing you that in a video later on. But anyway, so there's Mixmaster. All right. So now I'm going to show you Rampage. So for Rampage, what we're going to do is he's actually pretty simple. What we're going to do first is we're going to fold this section down right here and fold these plates down just like this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come right here and there are actually pins right here and right here. We're going to go ahead and disconnect those pins and we're just going to swing this up, disconnect the pins right here, swing this up, and we're going to bring this whole area, this whole section straight. Um, one thing that helps me in, this is entirely optional if you want to do it, I typically take this off and then transform his body because it makes it so much easier for me. All right, so now what we'll do is we've got all this disconnected. So now what we're gonna do is let's find where these connect right here and we're gonna disconnect the treads and flip those all the way out because we don't want those in our way. And here, we'll leave them just like that. And it's actually pretty easy to see where they connect. You'll see that there's a uh, there's this little piece that sticks up right in here and that's typically where it actually disconnects from the rest of the uh, rest of the treads right there. So we got those disconnected. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come right here and we're going to flip these around and flip these out a little bit. Yeah, flip that down, flip that out just like that. And now what we'll do is we'll bring these off to the side just like this. We'll flip this piece up and bring this around. And oops, I actually skipped a step. I am so sorry, guys. What we need to do first is we need to flip open these panels first and then flip this piece up behind him. And then we can have this section, which will become his legs, and we can spin it around just like that. So now we have this weird pogo stick looking thing. <laughs> All right. So now what we'll do is we will take we'll take these um, the claws right here. We're going to go ahead and fold them out. But as we do, we can actually take the, te the treads and we can feed them in between his claws. And then he can have his tread whips or whatever you want to call them that he used to try and scare, uh, try to scare Michaela or uh, Sam, Michaela and Sam's parents uh, when he trapped them just before Bumblebee took this guy on and absolutely wrecked him. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and flip this out and we'll bring the treads in just like that. So there we have his arms already set to go. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring his head down just like this and we're gonna fold this piece right here. This is gonna fold up in between these two gray pieces and it's gonna sit sit on him just like this. And uh, I think I might've gone on camera frame. Let me show you that one more time. So we had his head up and as we brought it down, we took this plastic piece and we fold it up in between those gray pieces right there. And those actually form the collar for um, Rampage. The next thing we'll do is we're going to take this whole section right here. It's on a hinge here and it's on a hinge here. We're going to fold it back down and that gate, that grate will actually cover the window. And then this, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this. And uh, there's actually two different ways on how to set him up. What we're going to do is we're actually going to set him up into his uh, four-legged mode. So we're going to take these right here, flip these out just like this, and flip that down just like that. Then what we'll do is we will fold this in just like this, and fold that in just like that. Now you can either have them angled or have him have them straight off his back. I don't think it really matters. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take this uh, where that joint right there, and we're going to connect it back onto Rampage, just like that. And then we're going to take these two holes right here and feed them onto this great, the, those pins right there. And we get those connected. And we, if you want, you can pull his legs apart, give him a little bit of a stance. And there we have Rampage. Uh, like I said, uh, that version, I really wish they had um, not called this one Rampage. I wish they had called him Skipjack, but it is what it is. But anyway, so there's what these guys look like uh, together. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put them into their alternate mode. And that consists of Mixmaster's cannon mode 
and skip and rampages skipjack skipper mode, whatever you um his pogo stick mode, whatever whatever you want to call it. So once again, we're gonna move him off to the side and we're just gonna bring we're gonna bring Mixmaster back in. Now for Mixmaster's cannon mode, it's actually pretty simple to do. All we really have to do is we really just fold him down just like this. And we basically just bring his legs out in front of him. This is how I've always done it because it's honestly the most simple. We'll bring him out and we'll put his legs down just like this. So this kind of creates like a tripod setup just like this. We'll bring his head up uh, on his neck just like that. So it sits just underneath the cannon barrel. We'll go ahead and bring his other arm forward. I've honestly only ever put him in the cannon mode a couple of times because I just think he looks funny. Uh, but anyway, so we'll get him set up. I'll get him set up the best I can, but we'll get these folded down in kind of a tripod setup. And then we will take his legs and fold them up behind him, just like what he does in the movie. And then we'll take this whole piece and we'll fold it down underneath him just like that. And there's his more or less his cannon mode. That's really the best, really the best I've only, I've been able to get it, but it does actually have a pose. It can actually fire. And, uh, personally, I think that, uh, Mixmaster should have used it more than once. I think the only really good shot he really got was when he fired, uh, one shot just before Jetfire showed up and cleaved him right in half with his battle axe. But anyway, so there's Mixmaster's, uh, plas uh, cannon mode, just like that. All right, so now back to Rampage, and that is not supposed to be in the frame. I am so sorry, guys. All right, so for Rampage, his uh, skipper mode is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is you just put his legs back together, and they are actually on a spring, and you can actually do like a little pogo action with his legs. His legs do actually have a high-pressure spring in there. Uh, but anyway, you put his legs back together, and then you go ahead and pull these apart right here and then take these and you'll see the groove right here folded up over this hydraulic where the hydraulic would be just like this and just like this and then put them back together and you have him in skipper mode. That's literally all you have to do with this guy. But anyway, so there we go. We have the, that is the 2009 Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Constructicons Mixmaster and Rampage slash Skipjack. If you guys have any other ideas for other Transformers you'd like me to try and do, feel free to comment below, even hit that like and subscribe button. And guys, I really would like your opinion on what you guys think of my new setup. If you guys can think of anything I can use, I can do to improve it, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. But anyway, I, uh, like I said, uh, hit the like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I will do what I can to help you out in the future. And until then, bye.